Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here it is. Let me open my camera. Anyway, how are you today, Anne? Uh, I don't see you. Yeah. What about? Uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So how are you today, Anne? I'm so good. Okay, great. Because you feel so good today. What did you do today, anyway? I I study with my friend. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I see my friend and I feel so good. Yeah, that's why you had a great time because you study together with your friends. Yeah, I'm very sorry if it if it takes me. Uh, okay, so here it is. So now, and our lesson is Unit Thirty Three, entitled "Along the Beach." Do you like going to the beach, Anne? Yeah. Okay. So before that, let's learn the words from our vocabulary. We have towel. Towel. Okay. So what is towel and what's the purpose of towel? Towel is when when we were wet. Yes, we, we use this one when we are so wet. When we just yeah. finish taking a bath, we use a towel. Okay, next we have weight. Wave. Wave. Okay, so when you go to the beach and you see that the, there's a big wave, what do you do? I, um, I go to my house because I can, I can, I can, uh, I go to the hotel because I can swim in this weather. Yeah, it's because it's dangerous to say, swim. Okay, so next we have shell. Show. Shell. Shell. Okay. So now, Anne, here, I want you to tell the story, to look at the picture and tell the story. Okay. Okay, so here in picture number one, this is Nick. And Sam. Sam and his brother Nick are at the beach. Their clothes are on the sand by the sea. Sam and Nick are playing football. Okay, what about picture number two? Sam and Nick uh, wants to uh, one minute. Sam and Nick want to dip the water to take a sail, but when when they they uh, go to the pit to to go home, see uh, he don't don't see don't see her uh, don't see their their uh uh clothes and and he see it in and uh see he see it next to the rock and it's so wet when Nick and Sam go home by taxi he's so he's he uh he wearing a wet clothes and he's very wet okay okay so thank you for that and so here what are the boys doing now in picture number two uh -huh. two uh they are do, they are uh, they are they are diving okay they are 
are diving. Great. What are they looking for? They're looking for the sound. The sound. Great job. So in picture number three, what are Sam and Nick doing now? Um, they are, they are see, seeing the clothes, what clothes was wet. Okay, that's it. So here, what's Nick taking from the water? He, um, I don't know. I don't understand what he's talking about. Taking, taking. What's Nick taking, taking from ah, the water? Nick, Nick taking her, Nick, take, Nick taking his hip glow. Very good. Okay, so what are Sam and Nick doing now in picture number four? They are when uh, they are um when a minute went wanting wanting a bus. Wanting a bus to yes, go home. waiting for the bus. Where are they going? I want you to guess. I think uh, they are going to home. Yeah, they are going home. Are their t-shirts wet? Yeah, yes, they are. Yes, it's very sweat. So for reading and writing part five and the sentences that you have to complete appear in the same order as in the story, but some keywords in the sentence completions may be different from the keywords in the story. For example, the water, the sea, brothers, boys, try to find or even look for. It. Okay, so here, I want you to complete the sentences about the story. You can write one, two, or three words. Okay, so the wet t-shirts. Okay. Can you please read the first paragraph of the story first? Yes. The wet t-shirt. Last Tuesday, Sam and his brother Lick went for a long walk along the beach. The they put their towel and go down in their favorite play on sand. Then played football. Then they can jump. Can uh, they ran and jumped into the way. After the after the game, the boy, uh, the boy, Hazan, uh, ran and jump into the sea. The boy swam under the water to look for the cell and see animal. Then they swam around some big rock and when they were, were tired, swam up, up out of the water and sat on them toward the sailing boat. Then Nick saw something orange in the water by their feet. He picked pick it up and said, look, it's your orange t-shirt, Sam. You put it you put it to near the sea. Nick and Sam want to find some cell under the water. Then, then the boy uh, sat on the rock and Sat on the rock to watch. Um, what? Then the boy um, sat on the rock to watch. To watch. Uh, Orin, Tisa. Okay. To watch the uh, boats. Okay. Next, so Sam. Sam. Orange teaser in the sea. Very good. 
in then then make strong his green t-shirt in the sea too and say quick son get it for me the brothers swam back to, to the beach with their wet t-shirt when they got there only one of their shoes were on the sand we put those too near the sea to Sam. Sam said, um, they walked to the bus stop in their wet clothes and then cast a bus home. When they took their parents, everything, mom said, you must be more carefully. But we were happy that you uh, perceive that at by the, the boy lost three of their shoes in the water. Nick and Sam stood by a wet by a wet glow to one of their birds. Okay. Their parents were happy because the boy was safe. Okay, very good. So for this one, and you got five out of seven. So thank you for reading the story about the wet shirts or the wet t-shirt. So do you have any question regarding the story of Sam and Nick? I think no. Okay, so you don't have any questions. So I have a question for you, just a clarification or follow-up question about the story, the wet t-shirts. Who is Sam? Sam is the boy who is wearing a wearing a orange t-shirt. Okay, so who is the brother of Sam? Brother of Sam in Nick. Okay, so when did Sam and Nick went at the beach? Uh, last Tuesday. Very good. Okay, so now, Anne, I want you to read the sentences and find the words. For example, after a swim, you can dry your body with this. This is a towels. What about number two? Number two, screaming suit. Short and skits. Skirts are example of that. What's that? Swimsuit, shorts, and skirts. I don't know. Example of this. We also have trousers, t shirts, pants, um, jeans, coat. Those are example of this. What do you call that one? I don't know, teacher. Okay, it starts with letter C. And it is seven letters. C. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. Okay. So this is a uh, clothes. Okay. How about number three? But is a uh, okay. Yeah. This is under your face when you work. You work on the beach. A suit. Is that your final answer? Ah, uh, sand. What about number four? You can climb up on onto theirs. They often grow. What's that? Uh, right. This is we climb up or onto this they are often gray what do you think is that a rock okay a rock it's a rocks what about number five you need a ticket to travel on this in town a bus very good what about the last number 
these people are on our job mother and the parent okay it's a parent very good because you got parent. five out of six here and okay, okay. So now let's proceed with Artsy. Let's talk about you and the beach. Do you live near a beach? I think no. Okay, so how far is the beach no, from teacher. your house? I think one hundred eighty kilometers. Okay, so how many hours if you're going to travel with it? I think I. Hey, sir. One minute. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. So if you travel going to the beach, how many hours would it take? Um, I go in to the beach by car. By car? Yeah. Okay, so how many hours would it take? Can read again. How many hours would it take you to travel by car going to the beach from your house? I think, I don't know. Okay, that's it. So here, Anne, are you good at swimming? Yeah. Very good, I wow. When I do you go? Know swim, I know swimming and I know swimming, but I, I think I'm not good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. You're just being humble. I think you're really good at swimming because you always practice swimming. Okay, so when do you go to the beach and I I also go to the beach in the summer. Okay, that's it. So what things do you like doing on the beach? What? what I, things I like, do you like doing on the beach? I like doing the I like doing, I like building the sand castle with my cousin. Okay, that's it. So swimming, what will you choose? Swimming in the sea or in a swimming pool? Then why? I, I think swimming pool is good because in, in the swimming in the sea is half away and I can scream easily. Okay. So do you like jumping in the waves? I think yes. Okay, that's it. So what's your favorite sea animal? I think my favorite sea animal is crab because it's just Okay. Okay. So are you frightened of any sea animal? I are think you no. Frightened? Okay. So are you sure? You're not afraid of yeah. sharks? No. You mean sharks? You're not afraid no, of sharks? Sister. Yeah. What because I don't see you? the shark. Ah, I, I want to 
fighting with the shark. <laughs> wow, you really want to fight with the shark. Are you sure about that one? Anna? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So here. Okay, so now, Anne, I want you to read the sentences. Then write words which means the same. Okay, so you can take time to put your answer here. Okay.
Okay. Okay, who? What's your answer in number one? I don't know. Ah. Is in this, you go shopping, number six, go shopping. Okay, number one is pick something up. Okay, number two, go for a swim or walk. This is Katja Bass. Send an email, get dressed, and go shopping. Very good, because you got five out of six here. Okay. So now, Anne, let's proceed with part E. Let's match two words that sound the same but look different. For example, write and write. So what are the two words that sound the same? So you're going to write it here. Take your okay. time. C, C, okay. Some song, some song. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where is it? No, no. Um, it. Tell yeah. me once you're done. I, 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 I,
Okay. Okay. So we have here I, I, very good. Okay, pair, pair, great, where, where, great, red, red. Okay, they all sound the same. Sun, sun, very good, eight, eight, okay. No, no, where's no, no here, very good. Aren't, aren't, aunt, okay. Four, four, did you have four, four? I think you don't have four, four. Yeah, I have. Let me see. Use in why 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 why? Ah, here four four. Okay. So here it is. Okay, so we have here. Okay, so now I want you to try to make sentences with some pairs of words. So what's your sentence end? When. <laughs> Last Tuesday is last Tuesday is my eighth birthday. In my birthday, I ate some delicious food. Okay, I have two eyes. What's that? I have. I have two eyes. Okay, I have two eyes. Very good. What else? Um, I when when I ate, I ate delicious food. What's that? When? Uh, when when I were it, I last. Uh, no. Last is my eighth birthday, and I ate some Lisa food. Okay, very good. So let me uh, make sentences for this one. Okay, my teacher told me that I'm right when I write my essay. Okay, so okay. I ha I've I got an I for you. Okay, so I want I my <laughs> what's this? My pear, my pear in research wants to eat a pear. Okay, where is the clothes that I'd like to wear today? Then, what's that? The story that I've read is all about the red car. Next, son and son. Um, my son don't want to be under the sun. When I was eight, I ate apple. I know that my dad's answer is no. Okay, there aren't any apples now, aunt. Then I've got four apples for my nephew. Okay, so that's okay. It. So what do you notice with with these words here, and what do you notice? I you can read again. What do you notice? Did you have observe something with these words? What do you notice, or what do you observe with these words? I I don't I I don't I don't mean I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay. So here you observe that all the, the sound of each word are the same. They have the same sound, but they have different spelling and even different meaning. But it's just that their sounds are the same. Okay, I write in my right hand, I've got a fly in my eye. Okay, so here, Anne, um, I want you to find the difference, the differences between the pictures. Okay. In the picture one, uh, the boy is the boy who is wearing a green uh, a blue t-shirt 
is wearing a hat, but in the picture two, he isn't wearing a hat. In the picture one, the boy, uh, Um, in the picture one, the boy who is who is reading a book is is sitting on on the on We're sitting in a purple and yellow carpet. But in the picture too, the boy sitting on the pink and blue carpet. In the picture one, two, two girl is playing in the water, but in the picture two, two three girl is playing in the water. In the picture one, the boy, uh, two boy is was playing was sit down sit was sit sitting uh was sit to playing but in the picture two they stand stand they are standing to play playing volleyball in the picture one uh the don't feel in the water but in the picture two is in a whale Okay. Okay, great. So we were able to find all their differences. Okay, so since we're done with our lesson and it's almost time, do you yeah. have any question to me, Anne? Yes, I know, teacher. <laughs> okay, maybe you really have a question, but you're just uh, scared or afraid to ask. Do you have any questions? No, no, teacher. Okay, so no. So no. thank you for joining our class. I hope to see you on Monday. Goodbye, Anne. Goodbye, teacher.